start with a carry by Ladanian Tomlinson. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Again, it's Tomlinson. And he'll be blown down at the 45-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. And now this time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And he's got Rome picked off by Dominic Rogers Cromartie. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out on the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now McNabb, quick slam, caught by Moore. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? Do you think a guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something, and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. They come out here in the eye. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think the second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Defense may be thinking pass. They come out in the nickel on third and goal. McNabb. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're still down, but they are able to salvage three here heading into the lockers. This is what you worked on from the beginning of training camp. Heading into the half, put some points on the board. No matter what the score says at that point, you've accomplished what you set out to do. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. But we still have a chance to win this game. Well, dude, we'll see if they can pick it up. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defense so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game.
They slide Gronkowski out right. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. To the right side, he's got more complete. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So another catch for Herman Moore, and back in his day, he was a volume receiver. He still is, I guess. He had no doubt about it. What do you have, over 100 catches three different times in the league? That's pretty impressive. Still holds the franchise mark with 123 catches way back in 95. And this is going to be intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler Kickley that picks it. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. 26 yards on the pick up there. And it's first down Miami. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? And they're going to dump it over the top to him. It's a loss of two there, bringing out second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket because they'll do it on purpose. They don't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they, And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Steve Smith from 17 yards out. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase it. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And now out come the Patriots. Defense is going to be excellent. You're dropping eight. Where are you going to go with the football? Ohio! 
They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Now it's McNair. Turn the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Whenever they're trying to attack a zone defense, you're trying to figure out where your gaps are going to be. 